I'm Lizette Thomason from Children's Corner, and I'm going to show you how to sew the armholes in a lined garment that has a short placket in the back. You will notice on my dress that the armhole edges are raw edges. The neckline is completely finished, even down to buttons in the back. We're going to now learn how to finish these armhole edges. The easiest way to do this is to hang it over your arm with the front going one way, the back going the other. I'm going to scoot it down to the tips of my finger and I'm going to separate the lining from the dress at the shoulder seam. With my left hand, I'm going to grasp my shoulder seam between thumb and forefinger. With my right hand, I'm going to grasp shoulder seam with thumb and forefinger. I'm going to stretch that seam out. This is a shoulder seam of both the lining and the dress. Now, I'm going to take the rest of my dress and I'm going to lay it across that stretched out shoulder seam and then take my lining and my dress, place them right sides together at the shoulder seam and put a pin at the shoulder seam to hold them in place. Now, I'm going to take the raw edges of my dress and my lining and pin them together all the way around. This is what the garment looks like when the garment is pinned to the lining at the armhole. This armhole looks very long and it is very long because it is pulled in with the elastic at the underarm. Now, you will notice that the entire dress is bunched inside of the shoulder seam. This is the way it's supposed to look. And now I'm going to show you how to stitch it. I'm going to use a quarter inch seam as the pattern calls for. And I am using on my Bernina, my 37 foot. I'm going to back stitch. And as I come to each pin, I'll just pull it out. And when I come to my shoulder seams, I want to make sure that each one of those shoulder seams is pressed open. When I get to the other edge, I'm going to back stitch. This is what the armhole looks like after it's been stitched. And now I'm going to show you how to pull this through to the other side so it's right side out. We're going to do this by pulling it through the shoulder, but first I'm going to trim this seam. Now that I have trimmed my seam nicely, I'm going to reach between the dress and lining on one side, doesn't matter which side. I'm going up toward the shoulder seam, you can see my raw edge of my shoulder seam, and I'm going to start pulling the dress through that shoulder seam. 
and you will pull and you will pull and you're going to end up it's going to look a mess like this but don't think you've done it wrong just keep pulling and pull and pull and pull and finally the dress will pop through and again you will see the front and the back and this armhole is finished now and ready to be pressed just like this. Now I'm going to show you what this looks like once it's pressed. On this franny I have finished this side and I have pressed it. The other armhole is done in the same way. Now this particular franny has trim on the edge, but that does not change the way it's done. It's done in the exact same measure. Again, I would start out by laying it over my armhole with the raw edge closest to my fingertips. I would separate out the lining from the garment at the shoulder seam, spread that shoulder seam out, and take the entire dress and lay it on top of that spread out seam. So your other finished armhole, the neckline, the entire dress is laying on top of that other shoulder seam. Then wind, pull the two pieces of your dress, lining and outside garment, together at the shoulder seam. And again, just like you did on the other side, place a pin to hold in place. Then you will, just like we did on the other side, pull the armhole surround of the lining and the garment, pin them together, and if you have trim, like on this one, sew right on top of the trim, pull that shoulder dress through the shoulder seam and press it and your armholes will be finished.